Once again, this is Colin O'Keefe with LXPN TV. Today we are discussing a data breach involving private intelligence agency Stratfor and that compromised information ending up on WikiLeaks. My guest is former, former cybercrime prosecutor John Lazy, now an attorney with the McCormick firm in Boston and author of the Massachusetts Data Privacy Law Blog. John, first off, can, can you walk us through exactly what happened here? Who is Stratford and how did their emails and or how did their emails end up on WikiLeaks? Well, Colin, um, Stratford is a short for strategic forecasting. It's a company uh, who seems to specialize in um, global intelligence. They, they have sources around the world who provide information. They distill it down and they sell it to corporations or wherever their membership may be. Uh, back on uh, Christmas Eve, there was an announcement that um, their computer system had been hacked and information had been taken, and what they said at the time was unencrypted credit cards had been taken. No one knew what that meant at the time, but about well, a week ago, uh, WikiLeaks announced that um, the emails had been, they were posting the various emails and the unencrypted credit cards came essentially in the form of renewal forms that were PDF files. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's interesting to watch as we watch this go up on there. You know, I've taken a look at it. You've taken a look at it. But but you know, what kind of information are we seeing on WikiLeaks thus far? And and do you think it has the potential to do a lot of damage to Stratfor and, and other entities? Well, so far, what I've seen is a lot of internal emails back and forth between different levels in the corporate in the company. Uh, some high level some distribution material. I mean, it runs from the mundane where some executives looking for fundraising help for their local sports team uh, up to uh, interaction between paid sources talking about government issues involving trade or treaty agreements. Uh, I think that a company that peddles in information and tries to provide analysis, um, having that information become public, who's asking for it and how they're asking for it, uh, I think it's going to be a problem for Stratfor. If I'm a major corporation and I want to keep, you know, my request for information quiet, um, and all of a sudden the entire world is reading on um, WikiLeaks, much I'm going to renew my membership. Yeah, yeah, it is the potential to. Uh, I mean, it's definitely not going to be good for Stratfor, but it'll be interesting to watch how it impacts other entities as they, you know, we've looked at them. This is uh, Stratfor is almost you call them a wannabe CIA. Uh, so it's they're going around, and it's interesting how they interact with different entities. You know, people asking for background checks on different people, wondering if, uh, you know, PETA will protest the Olympics, you know, those types of things. So it's interesting to watch and to see, you know, what more they have in store. Um, and then finally, how are incidents like these investigated and then, and then prosecuted? Or, or even are they? Is, are we getting to a point where there's so many data breaches going on that there's not necessarily the manpower or the resources to investigate them? Well... You know, the U.S. government has a lot of law enforcement agencies, um, but they're not, they don't have endless resources. As much as we may say they seem to have endless resources, uh, they don't. Um, uh, an issue like this, this, this is a, technically, it's a crime. Um, there was an un, unauthorized intrusion, um, which I'm sure Stratfor is upset about, and they're going to want to know who did it, and they're going to want to go after them. But um, as far as, you know, there are a lot of, crimes and data breaches to be investigated. Uh, I think that this one, um, well, put it this way, when the diplomatic cables were released um, and WikiLeaks published those, that became, you know, case number one in every officer's desk across the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, when a private company who has private clients loses information that may be somewhat sensitive, I'm not so sure it's going to receive the same attention. Yeah. Uh, but I can't say for sure. I, I would say that, you know, it really depends on... What, what else, what other information is going to come out after? We've seen some mundane ones, we've seen some interesting ones, um, but, you know, there's so supposedly five million, there's only a couple of hundred out. If, if it starts to get more and more damaging, then maybe there'll be more and more law enforcement attention on the case. Yeah, it falls in such an interesting little gray area where some data breaches will involve, of course, financial information, and that's, you know, criminal, you know, that's a criminal, criminal enterprise going on there where they're taking credit cards and, you know, those types of things. And then you have the diplomatic cables, which is on the other side of things. But here you have, uh, you know, a private company simply just being, uh, you know, pretty embarrassed by losing information. So it kind of falls between those two things. So uh, it'll be interesting to watch going forward. Uh, once again, that was John Lacey of the McCormick Firm and the Massachusetts Data Privacy Law Blog. 
For more on this story, be sure to visit John's publication and specifically his post on this, which is very good. At It's at massdataprivacylaw.com. And, of course, for more on Stratford and WikiLeaks, be sure to check out lxpn.lexblog.com. Thank you, John. Thank you, Carl.